Hey guys, it's Sailor Turn Gamer, and we're back. We're talking about the bounty system that will be coming to Dauntless 1.0, Aether Unbound. I wanted to talk a little bit about that in today's video so everyone can be fully aware of what's going on. It's a huge system that's coming on the full release, and I'm excited to talk about it. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, yeah, and if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to join the fleet by hitting that sub button very easy to do and it helps this community grow into something amazing all right so first up on the bounty system i want to talk a little bit about the feedback that was reflected on the previous system so they went on and as in they i mean phoenix labs they went on to talk about how they heard a lot of feedback from slayers that the weeklies were kind of lame just a little bit weak kind of was repetitive and then the timing was a little off as well it also forced you to spend some time using weapons that you didn't really like to use or really if you ran with a team maybe you using that weapon wasn't the best situation for the team so the weekly challenges weren't really something that was effective for the player base now with the bounty system that they're coming out with they're looking to use that feedback to make changes and that's going to be pretty awesome everything that was bad about the weekly system they they're looking to like really turn that around and put it on his head so they're building this system in a way that's going to let the hunt pass challenges go at your own pace so that means you are going to have the ability to be able to tackle multiple bounties at once or you can do them one at a time as you go through your week and that's pretty cool because it's going to be streamlined and not easier but just made to make a lot more sense and even give the system a little bit more depth here is really going to be a thing that's going to come into play to change the way we play the game so uh well to be clear the weeklies are gone there are going to be no more weekly challenges in dauntless bounties are the new thing on the block bounties are in weeklies are gone on the full release they're going to update the quest log with a new name and it's going to say quest and bounties so once you open up your quest tab where all the story quests are you're going to be able to see a bounty tab where you can track and claim rewards for your bounties the bounty system is going to rely on two basic things you have bounty cards and bounty tokens spending a token is going to let you draw three random bounty cards then you're going to choose one and add it to your active bounties so that's a pretty cool system as you guys see you can have up to four bounties at a time that are active and then once you complete a bounty and claim the rewards you're going to be able to immediately spend another token so you can get a new set of cards this cycle is going to continue to go on and on and on so you can keep the bounties flowing and it'll help you work your way up to level 50 in the hunt pass system so that in itself is pretty cool because you're going to consistently be able to have another thing to strive for as you progress through the hunt pass and as you just play the game so they're going to have the ability to slide in bounty cards throughout multiple updates so this system is going to be something that is going to work out very very well in my opinion so let's talk a little bit about the tokens that i talked about and let's talk about how do you get more bounty tokens that's a pretty good question if anybody was wondering so there's about four ways so far that you can get new bounty tokens you have daily tokens looted tokens hunt pass tokens and premium tokens so let's break those down for the daily tokens every slayer you're going to get 10 bounty tokens at the start of each hunt pass plus two bounty tokens every day so even if you don't log in you're still going to get those two that means that in a typical 35 day hunt pass cycle you're going to get about 80 regular tokens for free that's a pretty good amount of tokens if you're playing the game quite often i think and because there's no limit to the number of tokens you can carry you don't have to worry about hitting a cap so you can log in the last week of the hunt pass and have a gazillion hunt pass tokens, bounty tokens, and you can just knock them all out if that's what you want to do. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's talk about the looted tokens. Once the bounty system launches, all threat level two and higher hunts will have a chance to drop a bounty token. That chance increases with the difficulty levels, so be sure to choose higher threat hunts if you're looking to get more tokens. So that's pretty cool as well, right? They're going to give you actual benefits for going through and doing the higher level hunts, meaning you're going to have a chance to get more tokens. More tokens means more missions, means more points for your hunt pass. And as you see, the cycle continues and it's pretty cool once you get into the loop. Now we have hunt pass tokens. 
So starting with the 8th and run bounty season, which will be coming very, very soon, you're going to find bounty tokens. They're going to be the regular ones that we're going to talk about, and then they're going to be premium ones. And those are going to be scattered across the Hunt Pass reward tracks. So once you get them, you can use them and you can complete bounties just like normal to work your way through the season loot. So that's pretty cool in itself, right? If you don't want to wait for your daily tokens, last but not least, we're going to talk about the premium tokens, which is pretty much what it stands for. The premium tokens are going to be your way to get tokens directly from the store. Of course, that has to be a thing. Dauntless is free to play. So that's why we have that option. They're going to work exactly like the regular tokens, except they can carry over from hum pass to hum pass. So this way, even if you end up with more tokens than you actually need, well, you got them for the next season. So that's pretty cool, right? That's a nice way to mix it up a little bit and, and say, hey, look, we know we got to sell these things because it is free to play. But if you buy them, you actually have a nice benefit other than just saying, hey, I want to buy tokens to buy tokens. You can use them anytime, any season. And these hunt pass tokens that are premium, they don't expire. So that's pretty cool, right? Look. Once you have a token or two and you're ready to draw your first bounty card, it costs one token to draw a bounty card. That's pretty much how it works. And then you have drafting cards. Each time you spend a token, you're going to draw three random bounty cards. Choose your favorite card to add it to your active bounties. The other two cards are going to be discarded. So I think you guys should know as you will continue to go through this system, you're going to see the same cards until you choose one of the three. If you want to reroll, you need to select a bounty, abandon it and then spend another token to draw your new cards. That's pretty much how the rework works. I mean, as we look, these cards look incredibly beautiful. We see that the rewards are pretty straightforward. And this, this could just be a system that's going to continue to grow and expand, so it's pretty cool. Plan the game. Once a card is in your active bounties, you can start working towards completing the task. In the case of the card that you're gonna see on the screen, the slash and stab, you're going to need to slay four behemoths using chain blades or war pikes in order to earn the reward of 20 immortal flames. Fairly straightforward, pretty easy to complete. And it gives you that option, right? Because you don't necessarily have to choose this card ever if you don't want to run with chain blades or war pikes. So that's cool in itself. Once you knocked out the bounty's objective, you're going to see a pop-up alert, as you see on that card, and then it's going to tell you that you actually completed your accomplishment. But you're not done. You have to close out the bounty. And in order to close out the bounty, you're going to have to, again, go to the bounty screen, claim your reward, and then that is going to remove the card from your active bounties and free up a space in your slot. Once that slot is freed up, then you can go back to that process of spending a token to get a new set of draws, pick a new card, and that is the way it goes. If a bounty that you have chosen is too hard and it's too difficult for you, or you just decide, hey, I don't even want to do this anymore, well, you can abandon it. All you have to do is just select the abandon the bounty button and then you're going to be able to do so. This is going to remove the card from your active bounties and then you're going to have an open slot. But be careful, abandoning your bounty is not going to refund your bounty token, but you know, if it's just a, a bounty that you just don't want to do or it's just too hard, then I don't really think it matters if you're sacrificing your bounty tokens. And of course, remember, throughout a hump pass cycle, you can have anywhere up to 80 possible tokens at once. So I think if a bounty mission is too hard, it probably isn't that big of a deal. You're always guaranteed to draw at least three bounty cards. What you draw from the deck is obviously going to be varied. These cards that we have shown you so far are pretty much been bronze cards, the most common type of bounty card. But these bounty cards are going to work in tiers. So you're gonna have bronze cards, silver cards, and gold cards. And as you go up in the tiers, obviously, those bounties are going to be more difficult. But no worries, because if you complete those difficult bounty cards, you're going to get better and better and better rewards. Now, so far in the game, they only have bronze, silver, and gold. But we all know there are other tiers. There are, you can have like platinum and other tiers like that. So that means that these challenges can get better and better and better. And that's why I love this system, because none of this is a card-based randomized system. 
I think it's better for the player base to be able to choose what bounties they want to do. And it's better for the developers because they can just slide in cards every now and then in the updates. So this is an outstanding feature. They've also built the bounty system to ensure that slayers are going to get the same amount of gold, silver, and bronze cards across a certain amount of draws, so that way the system feels balanced. And I'm sure as we go through the system and we explore and we play the game, they're going to tweak it to ensure that it continues to remain as balanced as it possibly can. If you're worried about having to choose between bronze, silver, and gold, don't worry about it because they built the draft system so that you'll always have to draw three cards of the same rarity, so that's pretty cool. And the last thing that I want to talk about is switching sources. With the bounty system on its way, they're going to say goodbye to those weekly challenges again, but to hunt past break parts. There's going to be no more smashing behemoths to try to get those break parts because with the decision to move towards bounties, they had to shift a lot of things and then with the player feedback about the grinding and the repetition of breaking parts hopefully this system is going to be something that changes it as for the city collectibles they're gonna stay because you can look forward to having some relaxing things that'll be there in the hunt pass system as you go through Ramsgate so look out in Ramsgate for some meditation pools that you can grab every single day because that is a nice way to add a little bit of levity to Ramsgate so today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the new bounty system that will be coming in 8th Round Bound and hopefully you guys are a little bit more aware of the system. I think it's a pretty cool system. I'm excited to explore it and to dive more into the game as it continues to grow. If you guys enjoyed the news update, please let me know by giving this video a like and more importantly if you really like what we do here especially if you're new and you made it this far in the video join the fleet by hitting that sub button i really appreciate it we're going to be coming out with more and more and more videos as dollars continues to grow and with that being said this sale is going to be out in the open ocean i'm going to get out of here i'll see you guys in the next video peace